people are here. That's great. It is a little bit nervous, but I will try to uh, do my best to present uh, my speech. So, is there anyone who was overactive in, in their childhood? Yes! yes. So, I want to tell you about the boy who was overactive like an energy battery of Duracell. And you know what? It's me. <laughs> and when I was a nine-year-old boy, I was over uh, hyperactive and always wanted to create something new, something interactive, right, mom? Uh, <laughs> and every time, uh, my, after my invention, uh, every time I want to test new innovations from local masters. And as uh, everybody knows, that parents not have disabilities. And uh, please raise your hand who asked yourself a question. Who you want to be in the future? Well, lots of people. And here's the question. Raise your hand if you haven't found the answer for this question. <coughs> well, so many people, right? So many people couldn't find the answer for this question. But despite my age, I found my own way, own answer. And who rose uh, hands for the first question? What do you decide for your own self to be in the future? Just ask your own self. And I decided to be an engineer. And uh, how I decided to it? It was, it was hard to me to find my own answer. It took approximately more than one year. And you know what? Finally, my answer, the key to, uh, key to answer was under my uh, right in front of my eyes. And uh, as I mentioned before, that parents notice ability, my parents noticed it and uh, decided to give me to, air, uh, to private airplane school. While when I studied there, I was thinking that I will be became the engineer and uh, create and start to create like this kind of airplanes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is my airplane. Awesome, right? Yes. But this is not what's awesome. What's awesome when I what's awesome what happened after that when I cracked it and did like this. <laughs> Sorry. And the, uh, that school inspired me to achieve more and more. And where is my pride? Oh, here. <laughs> my pride is my pride is here. And you know what? When I was a 12-year-old boy, I created this remote control car. And you know what? This remote control car and uh, that airplane inspired, uh, show me the way to, uh, to create in the future. And I am here to create a future to young engineers. This is my first time here, and I want to give some advice to dead people who haven't found the answer for this question, who you want to be. As young engineers who failed and achieved a lot, my, my advice is, ah, can you think what, picture? Yeah. Think, think what you're going to do. If you have an idea, realize it. And try, do your best than ever. Do, do everything what you can do. Do a lot than others. And again and again, keep doing. The result will be honey. And everything what you can imagine is real. And in life, what you really want will never come easy. Remember it. What I mean by this? I mean that everything, everything uh, consists of being persistent. Being persistent means these kind of people continue to work at, until they get what they want. Even if somebody or everybody and everything was against them. And as an example, we can choose Thomas Edison. He said, I haven't failed. I just want 10,000 ways that won't work. And uh, why, we, why we cannot act like him? And everything in our hands, right? So. I really appreciate your attention today because you show you truly care and you listen. Thank you very much for your time.